What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's video. It's been a minute since we've actually done anything for Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's. This entire week has just been Reigns content and OCG Structures content. But guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's is going to be coming back today um, at 3 o'clock with episode 31. So what better way to do it is it's doing a summary preview analysis for you guys. It's been a minute since I've done one of these, so it's going to be weird getting back into it, especially since I've been doing a lot of different stuff. I am still getting the reviews done for 7s. I believe I have episodes 5 and 6 already out. Um, I'm working on 7, still 8. I haven't actually recorded yet, and I'm going to be doing that sometime later today and doing the OCG structures manga as well for its chapter 8 review but guys that's not focused on that we're focusing on Yu-Gi-Oh 7s as we're going to be going over the episode 31 cast list in preview for this upcoming episode I'm very excited to be getting into this so let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into it man it feels weird to get back into this I, it's been a minute since I've done this so yeah so here is the episode 31 summary and cast list. So we'll go over the summary first. The summary is called Rebelli Ant is Mine. Yuga and Co. head to where the Trumpet Duet Tournament is held. But as it turns out, it's actually a Dark Rush Duel Tournament. Agree that all the time... Or angered, excuse me, that all the time he spent learning how to play the trumpet was all for naught. Rook duels against Arisugawa Jango, the rebel of Goha 6. Now for the cast list. List, we have Yuga, Rook, Gakuto, Roman, Kaizo, Sebastian, Arisugawa Jango, followers, and students, and that is it for this. I, I don't know what to think about this, actually. Um, so, they guess they tricked us again. <laughs> so, that was very interesting to learn. So, apparently, there is a Rush Tool tournament going on. A dark Rush Tool tournament. So, basically, me taking away from this, that whole episode 30, even though it had some good things that came from it, like learning that Rook had actually lost a duel sometime in the past and maybe getting some Yuga development, it was a pointless episode. It was really a pointless episode. And it kind of sucks. It, it really does suck, I will be honest. Well, I, I don't understand why they did that. I don't know why they said, oh, this was actually a trumpet duel, and it went back to Rush Duel Tournament. I don't know why they decided to do that, but... Hey, for people that were still, like, they were kind of disappointed that it wasn't going to be a Rush Duel tournament, hey, you can stop being disappointed. It is a, I guess it's a Rush Duel tournament. It says it's a dark Rush Duel tournament, which I don't know what that's supposed to entail, but we don't really get much of this. We know that there's going to be a tournament. They go to the trumpet um, place where the trumpet duet competition was supposed to be held, but find out that it's a Rush Duel to, or Dark Rush Duel Tournament, and Ruck basically duels Arisugawa Django, which, if you guys don't know, this was the character that was actually introduced in Jump Festa a couple of weeks ago, so we get to actually see him take action. We have nothing on this character, might I add. Um, We only got introduced his name during Jump Festa, and that's it. So, it's interesting to see him. Um, My thoughts on him from the preview, I don't know how to feel about him. I mean, I feel like he... Over, think he is overconfident. I think he's going to be a character that thinks of himself high and mighty, which makes sense because he's seemingly a rebel for Goha 6. So I guess that's just going to mean that he thinks that he's the best, even though I'm assuming at the school that Asana is the best duelist, but I don't think he agrees with that, basically, and that's why he's kind of rebelling against Goha 6 because he thinks of himself as the strongest duelist. I really have no idea, but it looks like Rook is going to duel this character. Um, For who I think will win this duel is a pretty interesting one. I don't think it's honestly as straightforward as possible. And I'm more, and maybe it's just because I'm looking more into it, but 
I don't know how this tournament is going to work. It just looks like he just went and started dueling him. Like, there was, like, no build-up to this. Like, we don't learn the rules of how the tournament's going to work. We don't know if it's going to be, like, a bracket of some sort or what the case is going to be. It just looks like he just jumped straight into a duel. So, I don't know how this Rush Duel tournament is going to work. But we're just going to have to wait and see for the episode. There just wasn't enough information given to us to where we can actually know anything it also does suck too that there isn't any like asana or galleon or the other guy chevalier and by the way i'm just gonna say this going forward i know that's technically not how you're supposed to say the name like that but every time i've ever seen that name i've always said it like that I, that's just the way i've always liked to say it. i just think it's funny to say it that way so if that's annoying i do apologize i just love saying it that way i just think it's absolutely hilarious saying that way but we don't get any of these characters we get followers which is interesting so maybe they're just going to be supporters of this Django character which mind you if anyone has watched the beyblade metal saga doesn't he look like kiyoya i believe that's how you say his name from it which if you didn't it basically was the rival of that um of the beyblade metal saga to jinga so yeah we'll say though like his design i think he actually does have a pretty good design i thought Kiyoya always had a good design, so to see kind of a care. Also, also, I think from looking it up, I don't, I didn't get a name or anything like that. But I heard this character also looks like a Vanguard character. I have never watched Vanguard, so I don't know who the character was referring to. If you guys have watched Vanguard and you or know what they're referring to, please let me know. I'm actually very intrigued. I just saw the image on Twitter of them comparing it. In fact, I also. I, I didn't make the post, but I, I think I um hearted the post if someone had it with Kiyoya, so I thought it was pretty cool as well that someone else noticed that as well. But other than that, um, let me just give my prediction real quick. I, I was kind of thinking about it. I think, I believe that Rook is going to win this duel. And the reason why I believe this is because if this is a rush duel tournament, you would think that Rook has to get far into that tournament. With him being the strongest duelist so far in the series, having him lose to the first opponent of this Rush Tool tournament, I just feel like it doesn't make sense, really. And also, he's been the strongest character, like I said, and I don't think he's ready to lose yet. I don't think they're going to have him lose right now. I think if it's going to be any character that he loses to in the series, it's going to be to one of the three members of Asana's group, including her. So it's either going to be Asana, Galliant, or Chevalier. So I don't think this character that... I don't think is going to have really any relevance in a story. If we actually got a biography on this character and know, uh, know what this character is and who he is, then maybe I would have a different opinion because it would show how much importance he has into the series. But I don't think he's really going to be in the series that much. As I, as although I would like for him to be a part of the main four, that way we have every member of Yuga's team can go up against one of the Goha six members. You know, like maybe Yuga goes against Asan. That's an obvious one. Um, Gakuto and Galliant. That makes sense. Maybe you had Rook. With Chevalier, I just think his dueling is a little bit more important than being a stronger duelist that he should face one of the stronger ones and then have Roman face this character. But I don't think that's going to be the case, especially with him being a rebel at this school. So that kind of throws my thoughts out the window, but maybe it could still work. I have no idea, but I think if they're going to do it that way, they're not going to do it with these or at least with Django, I don't think he's going to be the one that does it. I think he's just going to lose this duel, and we're never going to see him again. I really do believe that. Which kind of... Well, I, I can't really say that either, because he was introduced in Jump Festa. Why would you introduce a character in Jump Festa if he wasn't had any types of importance? And that's where I would make the fair argument that Django could win. That's why I'm saying, like, I'm not saying it's 100% going to be Rook. I think it's probably around... I would say 70 to 80 percent. I would say it would be in my favor, Rook, with the other percent being against Jinko. I don't think a draw is going to happen. I don't think it makes any sense for them to have a draw. I think that would just be not pointless. I just don't think it would make any sense for a draw. I mean, maybe you guys can think of a reason, but I just think the best scenario is either have Rook win or lose. I don't think a draw makes sense at this moment in time. But for me, I'm going to go with Rook. I think Rook. 
is a smarter play for this. And let me know who you guys are rooting for in this duel. Who do you guys think is going to win this duel? Um, and yeah, that's all I can really say for you guys. There is nothing that we got. The only thing we got was that there is no trumpet duet duel, which I don't even think exists. I looked it up after I did the episode 30 review and that thing, that kind of, um, tournament does not exist. There's no such thing as a trumpet duet competition, which is completely funny that they just made up something for this, but this, I mean, it, it makes sense. This is supposed to be a more convenient show. They don't have to have everything that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm very excited for this episode. I'm excited for Sevens to be coming back. Um, This arc has been actually pretty solid, I would say. And I hope they continue with it going forward. But that is going to be it, guys, for this preview analysis video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all your guys' thoughts on this. And who do you think is going to win the duel? Do you think Rook is going to win this duel? Or do you think this Django character is going to pull an upset and beat Rook? His first ever loss on screen. Or his second total loss in general. So I'm very excited to know your guys' thoughts on this. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, guys, take care. Can't wait to get back into sevens. I'm just going to say that one more time. And until next time, guys, take care. Have yourselves a great rest of your day.